Police reinforced by National Guard troops forcefully pushed back protesters outside the White House Monday evening to clear a way for President Donald Trump to visit a church, just minutes after he said he wanted a military show of force against violent protests gripping the country. As television cameras showed live images of Trump's quick stop at the historic St. John's Church, where a small fire caused damage to its basement during protests the night before, the president posed with a Bible and with senior members of administration. Moments before, police had cleared largely peaceful demonstrators from the area, using tear gas and beating some with batons and shields, including at least one news photographer. The dramatic escalation, 15 minutes before a nighttime curfew was due to go into effect, came soon after D.C. National Guard troops were deployed near the White House. As the protesters were being cleared from the area, Trump came to the White House Rose Garden to call himself the law and order president, saying, domestic terrorism was to blame for the unrest. As we speak, I am dispatching thousands and thousands of heavily armed soldiers, military personnel and law enforcement officers to stop the rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults and the wanton destruction of property, he said. We will end it now. He called on governors to use their National Guard military police units to dominate the streets and threatened to deploy the active duty military if governors failed to use the National Guard more forcefully. He said he may invoke the 1807 Insurrection Act, which permits a president to deploy military inside the U.S. to deal with civil disorder. Following his remarks in the Rose Garden, Trump and his aides walked across Pennsylvania Avenue to pose before cameras at the church, holding a Bible. We have the greatest country in the world, we're going to keep it nice and safe, he said, expressing resolve that the country is coming back but did not otherwise engage on reporter questions. Attorney General Bill Barr, Defense Secretary Mark Esper, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien and White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany joined the president for a group photo. He then began the walk back to the White House after just a minute or so in front of the church, his daughter Ivanka trailing him. Bishop Marianne Edgar Buddy issued a response to the president's visit to the church, the president just used a Bible and one of the churches of my diocese as a backdrop for a message antithetical to the teachings of Jesus and everything that our church stands for. To do so, he sanctioned the use of tear gas by police officers in riot gear to clear the churchyard. I am outraged. In a tweet, Arlington County Board member Libby Garvey said that officers from the Northern Virginia City were recalled from Washington.